In the spring of 1936, the eyes of the world were about to become focused on Berlin, Germany, and that country's new chancellor, Adolf Hitler. As the torch was passed through German towns on its way to the Olympic Stadium, German technicians were readying a very specific display for the opening ceremonies. Three weeks after the games began, American agents working for the U.S. State Department received a strange photograph via an Italian journalist who had been covering the games. This image, not fully understood at the time by American analysts, was the only record of an aborted attempt to unveil a mysterious German military program at the 1936 Olympics. The first evidence of Germany's Volkswaffe. Our family was moved to Wolfsburg, and my father found himself assigned to a small wing of the German Air Ministry. One night I heard him talking with my mother. Very plainly, he said, we are working on something very unique, which could be fantastic for everyone, but I have a feeling that Hitler has something very destructive planned for it. It wasn't until years later, when I read his journals after his death, that I realized he was talking about the secret Volkswaffe. While the Nazi regime tried to paint a civilian image of their vehicle program, the secret was soon out with Allied military units, fleetingly visible in the skies over Russia and Europe. We first saw it, we didn't, we didn't know what they were. You know, they could have been tractors or, or Model Ts. I, I, we had no idea what this was going on. And I had the feeling they didn't know how to fly the things, and that gave me a feeling that maybe there wasn't any way in hell to fly them to begin with. The, the darn things are falling out of the sky tail end first, if you can call it a, a tail, if you could call it an airplane. What was the Volkswaffe? How was the vision of Ferdinand Porsche to build a car that everyone could afford subverted to military use? Why is so little known? Come along as we reconstruct the history of this elusive war machine through interviews and newly discovered footage, showing the depth of Nazi involvement, the extreme efforts to find a practical use for the strange aircraft, and the rumored post-war government cover-up of the incredible Volkswaffe, the flying cars of Nazi Germany.